Hi, Anna. How are you today? Hi, Tom. I'm doing well, thanks. I have a question for you. Sure. What's on your mind, Tom? Why do I need to read English? Great question. Reading improves your skills. But I already watch English movies. That's good, but reading helps more. Really? How does it help more? It improves your vocabulary and grammar faster. But I find reading in English difficult. Start with easy books, not difficult ones. What kinds of books should I read? Read books you enjoy for fun. Fun books? Not just textbooks, then. Exactly. Textbooks aren't always exciting. What's the best book to start with? Maybe a simple fairy tale or comic. Aren't fairy tales for children, though? Surprisingly, they're useful for all learners. How do fairy tales help with English? They teach new words and expressions naturally. But I want to learn business vocabulary. You'll learn useful words even in stories. That seems strange, but I'll try. You'll see. It's a fun way. Do I need to use a dictionary? Not always. Understand most words through context. What if I don't understand everything? That's okay. Just focus on understanding enough. How often should I read then? As much as you can every day, preferably. Every day? That sounds challenging. It's easier with fun books, trust me. How long before I see improvement? You'll notice progress in a few weeks. I don't have much free time, though. Even reading for 15 minutes helps. That's manageable. I can do that. Great. You'll feel more confident soon. Can reading help my speaking, too? Yes, it builds vocabulary for conversations. What about my listening skills? Reading indirectly improves listening through vocabulary growth. Should I read aloud for practice? Definitely. It helps with pronunciation, too. What should I avoid when reading? Don't read books that are too hard. What if I find a book boring? Stop reading it. Find something fun instead. Is reading more important than speaking practice? Both are important, but reading boosts everything. Does reading improve grammar naturally? Yes, it helps you learn without effort. What's an example of a good starter? Try short stories or graded readers first. Graded readers? What are those? They're books written for English learners. Will they make reading easier for me? Absolutely. They match your skill level. How do I find graded readers? Look online or at language bookstores. Should I read only in English now? The more you read in English, the better. What about reading translations of English books? That's fine. It's good practice, too. How did reading help you learn English? It gave me confidence to speak fluently. Did you read every day back then? Yes, I read every chance I got. What kind of books did you read? I started with simple novels and comics. I've heard listening also helps. It does, but reading builds stronger vocabulary. Should I combine reading and listening together? Yes, you can read and listen simultaneously. Is it okay if I read slowly? Of course. Speed doesn't matter at first. What if I struggle with long texts? Break them into smaller sections to understand. I'm afraid of making too many mistakes. Mistakes are part of learning. Don't worry. How do I stay motivated to read? Find books that match your interests. Can I read fiction and nonfiction? Both are great. Mix them if you want. Will reading help with everyday conversations? Yes. It helps you express ideas better. How do I know if a book's too hard? You should understand at least 98% of it. That's a high percentage. 
How do I check? If you use a dictionary too much, it's hard. What do I do if I'm stuck? Try easier books or read something familiar. Can I reread the same book again? Yes. Rereading helps reinforce vocabulary and understanding. How does rereading help my English learning? It deepens your knowledge and builds confidence. Should I write notes while reading? You can. It helps with remembering words. Will reading improve my writing as well? Definitely. You'll learn sentence structures naturally. What should I focus on while reading? Focus on understanding, not translating word by word. Can I read books on my phone? Yes, ebooks are a convenient option too. What about audiobooks? Do they help? They're great for listening practice alongside reading. Should I read difficult novels eventually? Yes, once you're comfortable with easier ones. How long should I keep reading every day? Try for at least 20 to 30 minutes daily. What happens if I miss a day? Don't worry. Just continue reading the next day. Should I set goals for my reading? Setting small goals helps you stay motivated. What kind of goals should I set? Start with finishing one book a month. How do I track my reading progress? Keep a journal or use a reading app. Can I discuss books with friends? Yes. Talking about books helps reinforce learning. Will discussing books improve my speaking too? Absolutely. It's great for practicing conversation skills. What if I don't have anyone to discuss with? Join online book clubs or language groups. What's a good online book club? Try social media or language forums. Do you recommend any specific group? There's one on Facebook called Read Easy. Is it free to join them? Yes, anyone can join for free. How often do they meet online? They meet every week to discuss. What kind of books are discussed? Mostly simple novels for English learners. Do they help with difficult words? Yes, they explain and discuss vocabulary. That sounds really useful and fun. It is. You should definitely join. I'll check it out tonight. Great. Let me know how it goes. Do you like joining book clubs? Yes, I learn from other readers. I prefer reading alone, honestly. That's fine. Everyone learns differently. Should I read different genres often? Yes, it keeps things interesting. I mostly enjoy mystery novels, though. Those are great for new vocabulary. Which mystery novel would you suggest? Maybe start with Agatha Christie's books. Are her books easy to read? They're challenging, but worth the effort. I'll try reading one this weekend. You'll love the suspense and puzzles. I do enjoy solving mysteries, too. It'll keep you hooked till the end. What's your favorite mystery novel, Anna? I love Murder on the Orient Express. I've heard of that one before. It's a classic and very exciting. Is the language difficult in it? A little, but you can manage. Should I use a dictionary often? Only if you're really stuck, Tom. I sometimes get frustrated with reading. Take breaks when it gets frustrating. Do you also take reading breaks? Yes, to keep my mind fresh. How long do you usually read? I read for an hour daily. That's a good routine, I think. It helps me stay consistent, too. Consistency is something I struggle with. Start small, then build your habit. I'll try reading for 30 minutes. That's a great starting point, Tom. How do I track new words? Write them down in a notebook. Should I use flashcards for vocabulary? Yes, flashcards are excellent for memorizing. I've used them before, they work. Keep using them for new words. 
How many new words each day? Maybe five to ten words daily. That seems like a good number. Yes, not too many or few. Should I practice writing those words? Definitely. Writing helps reinforce memory. How do you practice new words? I write sentences with those words. I've heard of that method before. It's very effective for language learning. What else improves vocabulary retention, Anna? Try using the words in conversation. I'll need to speak more then. Yes, use every chance to practice. Do you practice speaking every day? I try to even with myself. You speak to yourself in English? Yes, it's great for practicing fluency. I'm too shy for that, honestly. It's just you. No one's listening. I guess it couldn't hurt trying. It'll build your speaking confidence quickly. What if I make many mistakes? Mistakes are natural. Just keep going. How do I fix my mistakes? Listen to yourself and self-correct. Do you record your speaking practice? Sometimes to check my pronunciation improvement. I've never tried recording myself before. Give it a try. It's really helpful. I feel nervous hearing my voice. Most people do, but it's okay. Does it really improve pronunciation, though? Yes, it helps you notice errors clearly. What if I struggle with sounds? Focus on difficult sounds more often. Like the tach sound, for example? Yes. Practice tricky sounds until comfortable. How do you practice specific sounds? I repeat words with those sounds slowly. Do you also practice with tongue twisters? Yes, they're great for improving pronunciation. Can you recommend some good ones? Try She Sells Seashells by the Seashore. That one's really tough for me. It'll get easier with more practice. How often should I practice pronunciation? Daily practice, even for just minutes, helps. Can I practice with songs, too? Absolutely. Singing improves fluency and pronunciation. I love singing. What should I sing? Choose English songs you already enjoy. Do slow songs help more, though? Yes, slower songs are easier to understand. Should I sing along while reading? Yes, it helps with word recognition. How do I choose good songs? Look for clear lyrics and simple language. Any artist recommendations for beginners, Anna? Try the Beatles or Taylor Swift. Their lyrics are easy to follow? Yes, and they have many great songs. I'll start with one today. That's awesome. You'll improve while having fun. This makes learning English less boring. Learning should always be fun, Tom.